Late Friday night, a man was hit and killed here on Stop 11 Road. The driver took off. Then early Sunday here at 1300 Washington, a man on a bicycle was hit. That driver also took off. What else do these two incidents have in common? Well, Indy Ped Crisis says these two areas are some of the worst for this kind of violence. This was the scene late Friday night on Stop 11 Road near where it crosses Madison Ave. A man was hit and killed by a car while walking in the street. That car took off, leaving behind concerned neighbors. What we have to say right now is we understand it's not safe to cross this road right here. It wasn't long before IMPD investigators were back out, this time in the 1300 block of East Washington where a man was hit while riding a bike. The man died and the driver once again left the scene. We have seen 25 uh, fatalities so far this year, and of those 25, 14 have been hit and runs. Eric Holt runs the Indy Pedestrian Crisis account on X, tracking pedestrian incidents in the Circle City. Data shows Washington Street is dangerous. A full 10% of uh, incidents that we have tracked across the city have been along Washington Street. The intersection of Stop Levin Road and Madison Ave where the Friday hit and run happened isn't much different. It's probably the deadliest single intersection we've seen in the city over the last three years. Holt hopes his work raising awareness on these numbers will help create change on Indy roads. He's recently started a campaign posting these signs where pedestrians have been killed. One of these signs is already up here at 1300 Washington just hours after that man on a bicycle was hit and killed Sunday morning. Holt is hoping putting these signs all across the city will let more people know about the crisis on Indianapolis roads. The two fatal hit and runs come just days before the city county council is poised to approve a vision zero proposal to eliminate traffic fatalities and serious injuries by 2035, something Holt calls a good start. I, I'm going to continue to encourage our council members and our mayor to look at short term initiatives that we can also be doing in the interim while this Vision Zero task force is getting up to speed. That Vision Zero proposal goes before the City County Council Monday night. We'll keep you updated on whether or not it passes. Reporting on the east side, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.